Welcome, everybody, to this week's edition of Valpo Football Weekly, brought to you by our friends at Lakeshore Bone and Joint Institute. Brandon Vickery with you. Glad to be joined by the head coach of the Valpo Football Program, Landon Fox, and we'll take a look at this week's matchup with Davidson in just a few minutes. But first, we look back at a heartbreaking loss on Saturday at Brownfield against Moorhead State. And uh, Coach, you take the lead with 231 remaining in the game. Can you kind of take it from there and, uh, and talk about maybe what you need to do differently over the final two minutes to be able to close out the win? Yeah, like I said after post game, you know, I, I think number one, it makes sure that we're we're putting the players in positions to be successful. And um, a couple of times, you know, I think that's you look back, and we as coaches need to to do a better job with that. Um, so we have to take accountability for that. And then there's a few times, though, Brandon, where guys are in position, and then we're not uh, following through on the fundamentals, techniques, or assignments that they're asked to do. And um, you know, we have to put guys that out, out there that are dependable because to me, that's the number one compliment you can give a player. If you know exactly what you're going to get. And if a, if a player's average, but you know, he's going to be average each and every game, then that's, that's fine. It's just when you, when you're kind of hit and miss, you know, that's, that's when bad things happen. I wanted to ask about Ryan, man, had a touchdown run, had a touchdown catch, ran for over a hundred yards. And what stands out to you about Ryan and what allowed him to, to be effective in the game on Saturday? Yeah, well, first and foremost, it's nice to get him back. You know, he's, he has been out for a couple of weeks with injury. And so, um, you know, he's a, he's a complete back, uh, really good in, in um, pass protection. You know, he does a great job in pass pro, but he can go out and catch the ball um, in the pass game and um, downhill runner. And, and, and um, you know, obviously he's a little more elusive than you give him credit for just in terms of kind of his um, ability to, to make guys miss. But um good things were happening when when um the ball was in Ryan's hands and and that being said though you watch on tape and I'm critical of of us and our staff you know there was multiple times when uh, Morehead State did not have a, a helmet you know they didn't have a hat in terms of the running game and um when you can do that and they don't have a tackler per se a free hitter um that be, can become very tough um for them and that's where some of our success uh, came from Chris Gundy had one career catch before the game on Saturday and he ends up with six for 74 yards for maybe people watching out there. Who is Chris Gundy and what led to this sudden breakout game against Moorhead State? Yeah, I mean, Chris is a guy that's a transfer from Eastern Michigan and, and, and a guy that we knew um, that had the ability to, to help us on the field. And um, it is one of those things where, you know, it does take a little time in terms of adjustment of, of the scheme and, and making sure he knows what he's doing. And then, us utilizing his skill set and putting him in positions to uh, to be su successful. But um, Chris is is awesome young man. You know he's very even keel. You know and and football is very important to him. And so to me, he's only going to continue to get better, which which is the exciting thing. I hate to be repetitive, just asking about the close games, but it remains such a, a storyline of the season. And Valpo hasn't played so many close games in a row in twenty years. Uh, do you recall a season like this in your coaching career and kind of what's your message to the team and staff at, at this point in time with uh, close game after close game? Yeah, I mean, the, the message is is this is like, you know, what we are doing in practice it, it is working in terms of we're giving ourselves an opportunity. What we have to do a better job of is making sure, like I said, um, that when things are in critical situations, we're making the right call as coaches. Um and then when cr critical situations, the players are executing, you know, whatever it may be, offensive scheme, defensive scheme, special teams, because when you, you can, um, you know, when you can be good in those critical situations, that's giving yourself an opportunity to, to win the football games. And um, yeah, it's frustrating. We're all frustrated, but the only way that you're going to fix that is continue to, um, to work at it and improve and um, move forward. Talk about Davidson, the opponent this week. Uh, they're a team that has been one of the programs setting the standard in the PFL right now. They've gone to the FCS playoffs each of the last three years. Uh, what has led to their success and what uh, makes them a formidable foe on Saturday? Yeah, Brandon, uh, you know, the one thing is in, in, in any successful uh, football program, you know, people have to invest and they've invested. I mean, brand new stadium. Um, they've invested in coaching staff. So they have made an investment. Football is important to them. And so you can see that. And then the reality is it's paying off on the field. Um, and so that's where it starts. And now that being said to me, they're well coached, you know, they, they do present a different brand of football. Um, 
in terms of option def- offensively, you know, and they're, they're good in option games. So that, that will present um, issues to our defense. And then, uh, you know, offensive or excuse me, defensively, they're as, as sound as you get. You know, they're not going to play a bunch of different defenses, but um, very, very sound. And then it kind of interesting just in terms of the kicking game, they kind of try to eliminate, eliminate that a little bit um, and how they do some do some of their um do some of their stuff from a special teams perspective, like fair catching, um, fair catching kickoffs and punts and trying to maybe eliminate that phase of it a little bit to a certain degree. Um, so just unique um, from that standpoint. And another thing, you know, to, to me from, you know, their success, they've done a really nice job. They've taken advantage of the fact that, um, you know, the PFL is a non-scholarship league, but they're, they're, they're full need, meet full need, you know? And so they went out and recruited guys that, uh, can help them on the field and academically. And then from a financial aid standpoint, it's fully covered, you know? So there's some, there are some, there's some advantages there um, in how they set it up. You know, that's all within the rules and how they do it. Cause that's how the school structured, but um, obviously it helps them, um, you know, in recruiting. There is the head coach of the Valpo football program, Landon Fox. Uh, the game starts at noon central time on Saturday. Uh, link to the live video on ValpoAthletics.com. Big matchup between Valpo and Davidson in North Carolina. We'll talk to you again next week on Valpo Football Weekly, brought to you by Lakeshore Bone and Joint Institute.